Good morning, Primary 5. I am Mrs. Ola. Our lesson today will be Lesson 1 and 2 in Unit 5, Collecting Quantitative Statistic Data and How Can We Get the Frequency Polygon. Okay. Here, the following table shows the number of new visitors who visit a gym through a week. Okay. On Monday, you have number of visitors. How can we calculate this data? Okay. We will count the sticks. Okay, and as you know before, each two, five sticks make group. So one, two, three, four, and the five will close the group. Okay, or the tally marker group. So it will be five, five, and one. The answer will be 11. On Tuesday, you have four new visitors. Wednesday, calculate the tally mark, it will be 21. And Thursday, you have 15. And in Friday, you have nine new visitors. This method called Tally mark or tally frequency table. Okay. Also, as you know, histogram is a way of, of representing data. Okay, in which vertical column are show the frequency, and the frequency means how many times the, 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 the score happen. Okay. When I'm talking about frequency polygon, it is the same way of broken line to understanding the shape of data distributed. Okay, it's very important to know how can we calculate the center of any interval, which will be starting value plus ending value over two, or the lower limit plus the upper limit over two. Okay, here we will learn how can we use this. In this exercise, the following table shows the number of hours which are spent by 30 students to study their listening daily. Okay, the number of hours. 0 dash, it means from 0 to 2. Okay, from 0 to 2 will be 8 student, from 2 to 4, 6 student, and from 4 to 6, 9 student, from 6 to 8, it will be 7 student. Okay, this type of method will be how can we do it by using sets. Okay, represent this data using frequency polygon. Okay, number one, calculate the, full, uh, the center of each set okay the first set from 0 to 2 lower limit plus upper limit over 2 0 plus 2 over 2 the answer will be 1 so you will put the point on number 1 center of the second set will be 2 plus 4 over 2 the answer will be 3 third set 4 plus 6 over 2 10 divided 2 the answer will be 5 and the center of the fourth set will be 6 plus 8 over 2. The answer will be 7. Now, okay, draw the axis as we learned before. Okay, two perpendicular axes. The horizontal axis represents the number of hours, okay, which is x axis, and the vertical axis, which is y axis, represents the number of students. Okay, here you will put the point from 0 to 2 in the, in the middle, from number 1, till we reach 8. 8 is the number of people who studied the hour from 0 to 2, okay? We will put it from the center, okay? Like we do in coordinate plan, 1 and 8. From point 1 in x-axis till we reach 8 in the y-axis, 1 and 8, okay? Second point will be 3 and 6, 3 on the, on the x-axis and 6 on y-axis. 5 and 9, and the fourth coordinate will be 7 and 7, okay? Join each two consecutive point from point 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, and from 3 to 4. Order is very important, okay? From the first point, which is number 1 and 8, okay? Then the second one, third, then fourth, okay? Do it using your pencil and ruler, okay? After you do it, Okay, this figure represents the frequency polygon of this question. Okay. Here, another exercise. The following table shows the mark of 80 students in one month in math. Okay. Students who get from 20 more to 30 more, 10, from 30 to 40, 25, from 40 to 50, 35, and from 50 to 60, 10 students. Okay. Number one, calculate the center as we do before, 20 plus 30 over 2, 
will be 25 and so on. Okay, then 35, 45, and 55 to get the center of each set. Okay, after you get the center, how can we represent it? X axis, on X, it will write the, the number of set 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Here, you will, in Y axis, you will write the number, you will use timetable 5, 0, 5, 10, 15, and so on. Okay, number 1 uh, on 25 till we reach 10. In the middle of the set or the center of the two sets till we reach 10. Okay, and from 35 till we reach 25, from 35 till we reach 35, and from 55 till we reach 10. Okay, join the point consistent from 1, 2, 3, and 4. Again, order is very important. Okay, always use your pencil and ruler to get the frequency polygon. Okay. Please try to do it by yourself. You can check it with me later. Thank you for your time and goodbye.